In this video, I'm gonna be going over some tips and tricks on how the pros get all them beautiful aquariums without going completely broke. The longer you're in this hobby, the more you start to realize that your brain patterns, your brain waves are changing. You start seeing everything in terms of fish, fish paraphernalia, right? And one of the biggest, one of the biggest um, candy stores for, for Aquarius is, is not, believe it or not, is not the um, fish store. It's, it's, the, it's the Home Depot. There's so many things at the Home Depot that you can use for your aquariums that are way cheaper than, than getting it at a big box store. Now, I'm not hating on big box stores at all, but when you start getting into multiple aquariums, it gets expensive. And the Home Depot, with a little bit of imagination, um, oh, I forgot to put on my mask. With a little bit of imagination, you can do a lot. Let me, let me show you, let me show you. This is a shell. Um, this would actually be good if you had a saltwater tank or African cichlid tank. You got peat right here. Now, I used to use white marble chips all the time. Can you imagine how much a 50 pound bag of this stuff of gravel would cost you at the pet store? I think a small bag of it is like $20. This big 50 pound bag, granted you're gonna have to wash it. DIY filter material, Lava Rock does great for that. Filter media. You know, you wash that out, that'll be black. I actually use this in my, um, but I use the bigger stuff. I didn't, they didn't have this black gravel. Sorry, it's DJ. Look how big these rocks are. And that's what, $10, $12? The black one is, I think the black one is $12.98. This, the white one, I mean, you can do so much. Look, tan ones, different color ones, all for decoration. Hey. The pond supplies. You need to move some water around, some pumps. Look, you can actually um, fix that. Look here, just to move water. If you just need to move water, they got small pumps here to use. You can get some pumps to go inside your, um, some, some lights to go inside your tank. You know, look, here's a little 20 bucks, uh, just a little pump to move water around. This is for ponds to lower pH, where that, that um, seashell that I showed you earlier was to increase the pH. That stuff you put in your filter to lower the pH. Even the chemicals. What is this? The chlorinator. This big thing of the chlorinator is for ponds, right? It's 780. Filter media. You guys need holes for your python. You can get holes right there. You see what I'm saying? All that if you want to make your python longer. <laughs> Terracotta pots for hidey holes. Look at that. Look at that. It's a hidey hole. You guys want to make some DIY backgrounds? You need some styrofoam? So it's eight bucks. It's eight, eight, eight dollars. Get a pump, pumping water over into here. Put your lava rocks and your um, sponge and your um, filter floss material in there and have the water dumping out here. All right, so I don't know if you ever saw my tank, but I have um, two of these. I have to get bigger ones. I have two of these right here that I spray painted black and I hang them. I took this piece off right here. I took these piece, this piece off. I spray painted it black and I hang it from my ceiling and they're pendant lights for my aquarium. $8 a piece, you know, I just got an LED, a 60 watt LED light bulb, but I want more light So I'm gonna get the bigger one so I can put 150 watt for only 1250. I've even used these right here as lights. I um, See that little hole right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little hole You take these feet off and you um bolt you screw that um base upside down onto the piece of wood above your tank if You guys need a, a divider a tank divider buying tank dividers that say Fish or aquarium on it is expensive. This used to be a lot cheaper. I ain't gonna lie. It used to be like twelve dollars. It's four feet, like two feet, and uh, it's eighteen dollars now. Forty-eight inches strip light. They range from thirty-two to forty-six, depending if you want a single or a double. And that's just that one brand. This one I think is a little bit cheaper. And you can just set them on top of your aquarium. I actually have um, one of these long ones, the four footers for my 220 high. Or if you have a small 10 gallon tank, you know, you can use some of these smaller ones. See what I'm saying about those pendant lights? Look, daylight, 75 watts, $15 for two of them. And you get two of those pendant lights, you can't beat it. Or if you want to do 60 watts, you get $10.40 10 for what? How many is in here? A four pack. If you're breeding fish, right, and you have a lot of fry, any hiding spaces, you can look, come over here, cut this up, 
throw them in the tank for the smaller fish to hide or get bigger ones. You know, if you have shell dweller, um, shell fish that like to um, breed in caves or something like that. You know, you can, so many, so many different things you can do. This thing right here, this cap, it's a, it's for a four inch PVC pipe. If you drill the hole right there, this would make a perfect cave for like um, a rock dweller or um, a pistos that like to breed in caves. I gotta go potty. I gotta go potty. Multiple tank stands right there. These things will hold aquariums. Just, just you gotta pay attention to the um, to weight rating per shelf. The only thing I don't like about these things is that the wood underneath there is is that fake wood. The actual skeleton is good, but the wood is, is when it gets wet, it'll it'll. So what I do is I get two by fours cut to go from the outside here to the outside there, and I'll get two per shelf, and the aquarium will actually sit on that. But um, these will hold. 40 breeders and it'll hold three 40 breeders so you know you can't i, I so the only thing with these about putting 40 breeders on is you have to as you build the rack you have to put the breeder in it so that's a little funny but the cool thing is is that it breaks apart in half like it doesn't break it but it, you can instead of having one long shelf you can have a long shelf this way instead of up and down and then you can put four breeder, four 40 breeders in that. You got a 10 gallon tank that needs a stand. Look at that, $30. That'll hold a 10 gallon tank just the way it is. You don't have to put anything else with it. That's nice. 250 pounds per shelf. So I actually need to get a couple of those. I need to get a couple of those. If you guys need a silicone something to go in your aquarium, you got to get yourself some 100% pure clear silicone. 100% pure clear silicone with no additives. They don't have any right now. Um, but this you can use in your aquarium and it's the same stuff that says um has a fish name across it for way cheap all right so one of the reasons why i'm doing this video is because i have a pet project um where i i give aquariums to children or families or anybody who could um benefit from getting an aquarium in their homes but don't necessarily have the money for it so i, I go ahead and make setups and give them away um and that's part of what what the membership um, money goes to if you become a member so please consider doing that I could use the help the stuff ain't cheap even going to Home Depot um, but I'm leak testing right before I put these out there before I even bother cleaning them you know I'm not gonna bother cleaning of the tank that's gonna leak on me so I go ahead and I, I leak test them dirty and everything you know that way I know if it got a leak it's a 10 gallon tank I could get one for 10 bucks at a dollar gallon so if it has a leak in it I'm not gonna bother trying to do all kinds of stuff clean it and, and reseal it and all that I'll just get another one um that's the that's the DIY filter I use. That actually removes all the chlorines and chloramines. I don't need a DIY um, RO setup. That's just fine for me. But that's what I'm doing. So you need to at least subscribe, if nothing else, and hit the notification bell so you can see um, how that progresses because I am going to do some documentation of me putting these aquariums together. I'm actually going to do a different theme for every tank. It's all going to be DIY, and it's all going to be professional grade. So... Um, Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, see how these come out. I think they, I think you're gonna be happy. I, I'm thinking Planet, I'm thinking Modern Deco, I'm thinking Shelly's, I'm thinking uh, all kinds of different um, themes. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'll even do one that's um, a glow tank, which I'm not a big fan of, but I know it brings people to the hobby. Um, and even um, a live bearer set. I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys um, leave in the comments below um, with what type of theme setups, um, environmental themes. Um, can I do with 10 gallon tanks but uh yeah stick around stay tuned let's say you want to get um RODI water system right you can go to Home Depot and make your own RODI water system or they have some already set like this is this would be a small amount right there um reverse osmosis system I made a system using three of those the canisters and getting the cartridges that I want just to take out just to take out um, sediment. Where's your sand at? Excuse me. Where's your, where's your sand at? The sand, oh, there it is right there. I use this. All natural play sand for my aquariums. I, I mean, you have to wash it out, but you do the gravel here too. You have to wash it out. But this stuff is $4.67. Do you know how much this will cost? It's 50 pounds. You know how much 50 pounds of sand would be for your aquarium at the big box stores over there?
All right, so that's just some stuff that you can get out here. I mean, I could go on and on of all the stuff you can get for your DIY projects or to make. Oh, where's that one thing? Ah, I gotta show you one more thing. All right, so here we are at the section that's it's my favorite um, to use DIY from Home Depot, and that is this greenhouse stuff right here. Now, this thing right here costs forty-four dollars, which the price went up considerably. Yeah, the price went up considerably, but I guess that's everything, right? And what this is, this is let me pull one out. It's stuck. He's, he's one-handed on you. All right, so what this is, look. Let me pull back the plastic if I can. Anyway, it's double double pane. Um, it's used for greenhouse roofs and walls. This thing is really, really strong. I use it for my tops on my 75, and I can put anything I want on top of there, and it's not going to break off. I don't have to worry about, like, the, t the glass tops that you get, sometimes they slide out from the little hinge and stuff. I don't have to worry about all that. And even if, you know, even if you mess around with the top and it falls in the tank, it's soft. It's, it's, it's light. It's not going to hurt a fish. Other thing I've used when I was, you know, um, strapped for cash, which is $38. This stuff right here is $38. It's, it's, um, it's the rigid stuff, the, the rip, rippled stuff, you know? You see what I'm saying? It's this stuff. But it's not black. It's clear. It's easy to cut. It's really easy to cut. But this stuff, which takes a little longer to cut, the um the rib wall, it, it's got ribs in it, you know. It's, um, what's that called? It's called sunlight PC panels, eight millimeters. Polycarbonate is what it is. You know, same thing with this stuff. This stuff, sun tough panels. It's also some type of. Anyway, that stuff. It's the one with the ribs is harder to cut, but it's way stronger, way way stronger, way more durable. The other stuff. The problem I don't like about the other stuff is, is, is um, it only can be put on your tank really like one way and it's kind of wobbly, but it's really strong when it's up there and it's cheap. It leaves air gaps though. If you have fish that are escape artists and you need a lid that's going to have no gaps, that polycarbonate um, <sighs> greenhouse stuff, that's the way to go because you can cut it exactly. The only thing with cutting it is you really need a Dremel tool or like an a, um, a angle grinder. It's just a lot faster. You can do it by hand with a razor blade, but it takes a while. I ain't gonna lie, it takes a while because it has a double panel split. So the sad truth is, is the more you're in this hobby, the less you actually go to pet stores. You, you start getting your fish from people that you've met, Facebook, um, fish swaps, auctions. So you stop getting fish from there because you kind of move past the fish that the big box stores like Petco and Pet Smart that they offer. So you're into stuff a little bit more exotic that they don't carry. And then, the equipment that they have, you're already outgrown and you're starting to do stuff like come to Home Depot and make your own to suit your own needs, right? I guess <laughs> it's weird how that works out. Big dummy! <laughs> 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 <laughs>